Hello YouTubers, this is Desiree coming to you from my channel here for you. I am coming to you with this video in regards to a product haul for my granddaughter. My granddaughter is 15 months old and her hair is extremely dry. Well, let me just back up for one second. Her hair is dry. It's not as dry as it was. It, it's, it's come a long way. It's come a long, long way. So, these are some of the products that I've been, I have purchased or incorporated into her regimen. About a week and two days now, I've been using mixed chicks that I purchased. And I like this product for her. This is the leave-in conditioner. Let me show you this. This is the leave-in conditioner. And as you can see the price. And I, I purchased this at a local beauty supply store. And it says eliminate frizzes and define curls. And it does. Also, I purchased Mixed Chicks Kids Tangle Tamer. So Mixed Chicks has a kids line, which is great to know. And this is recommended to uh, recommend use after the leave-in conditioner. So what it says is after shampooing the child's hair, put a generous amount of this in, and then the following day, put a um, put this in also, but a, put it in sparingly, and then follow up by the kids tangle tamer. That works well. Three days ago, I was out still in search of some products for her and came across this product. Curly cues. This is the conditioner and this is the shampoo. This look what the shampoo look what the conditioner says on it. So you can see that. No mineral oil or petroleum oil. So no sulfate. And also, you know, this is what the shampoo says. The shampoo it says no sulfate, low suds, gentle curl cleanser. This is the thing. I used this for the first time yesterday and it did not sell up a lot. I poured some more on her, on her hair thinking, well, why is it not sizing up? And then I was like, oh, wait, it, don't suds, it doesn't suds up a lot, low suds. So I really enjoyed what this did for her hair, the shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner recommends leaving it in five minutes, I actually left it in 10 because I felt like it, her hair needed that extra moisture. After shampooing and conditioning, what I did was, I purchased this also at the same time I purchased the Curly Cues, I put 100% coconut oil. Now I do have coconut oil here, but it's not 100%, so I didn't want to use it in her hair, but this is 100% coconut oil, and let me show you the consistency on this, see, it's basically, and then it, it see, it melts with just her body heat, and that, I put that in her hair, followed up by the curly cubes custard. So this, let me show you consistently on this. This custard smells so good. But that, I also use that. And I enjoy what this line did for my granddaughter's hair. So incorporating into her hair regimen will be the mixed chicks and and the curly cues. Now, what I want you to understand is I rotate things in and out as her hair states it needs. Now, the shampoo and the conditioner, of course, I won't be able to rotate those out. But maybe, you know, I use this and maybe I use the mixed shakes. Now, mixing lines, I find is okay. I've done it. it. Just depends on what my hair needs. I also use this on my granddaughter's hair. And this is extra virgin olive oil with tea tree oil and vitamin E. So I also use this. And this is why I say her hair is not as dry as it used to be, but it still has a way to go. In any case, um, when I was in the salon purchasing the curly cues, let me just go off on, on off topic one second. I was in the salon in the beauty supply store and in the back of the beauty supply store, there is a salon and I went back there and to consult a stylist, a hair care professional who turned out to be a stylist. In any case, I asked her, I said, well, do you have any recommendations or suggestions for my granddaughter's hair? It's very dry. She led me to Kinky, Kinky Curls, which is an adult line. And I said, well, that might be a little harsh. So I continued on and down the aisles and ran into Curly Cues. Well, she was still with me when we were just talking about hair care in general. 
And she suggested that I let her give my 15 month old granddaughter trim, a hair trim, a cut. I was like, no, you're not cutting her hair. Well, in order for her hair to grow, you're gonna have to cut it. No, not so. Now, let me let me inform you of something. I do believe if your hair is damaged, you need to cut it. There's no reason you should hold on to damaged ends because it's gonna hinder your hair growth. Cut it. But every six weeks, I just don't think you damage your hair enough. You damage your hair enough to need a cut every six weeks. And if you're going to a salon, why is your hair damaged every six weeks? So if you're going to a stylist every six weeks and when you come back and your hair is in such disarray that you have to cut it, then you might want to really look at who's taking care of your hair. I just don't think your hair needs to be cut every six weeks. I've been growing my hair out since February of last year, 2011. The only thing that I've done to my ends is dusted it. And what dusting means is just basically taking the ends, looking for any any hair that's like maybe out here a little bit and just cutting it back up. That's the only thing I've done so my hair can grow evenly. I've used my split ender to, to um, cut split ends because split ends are not only happening down here, they can happen up here in your hair. So, but a hair care professional would know that. When this young lady suggested I cut my granddaughter's hair, I was like, you know what, you would, when I do choose to come into a salon and sit down in a chair, it won't be yours. In any case, um, I am now taking Hair Infinity. Hair Infinity, I've been taking this for about two weeks of a day. I really want to wait till I finish this entire bottle and maybe half of the next bottle that I'm receiving before I give a detail update. I can tell you I do feel some new growth. I uploaded a video on November 13th and I did the same comb down so you might can see the difference. Let me show you the back of my hair. This is the back. And again, I haven't had a haircut now. Remember, I don't cut my hair, I dust my ends. And the very back of my hair, I have my daughter combing down and any straggling ends, I have her go across it. So that's how I do the back. But this is the back of my hair. In case somebody might say, well, that's how her ends look. Look, look at See, I even go up here. And mind you, I haven't had a haircut. I just dust my ends. I go through here and do my whole head. See? My whole head. That's how I do. That's all the way through. So, I mean, you might can go look at the November the 13th video to see if there's a difference. But like I said, I've been taking Hair Infinity for two weeks and a day. I'm going to wait till I complete this bottle and half of the next one before I give a detailed review. I can not tell it is doing something because like I said, I have some new growth. What I want to say is, whatever direction you choose to go, natural or relaxed, educate yourself. It is your hair at the end of the day. Nobody should know your hair more than you know your hair. So, when you take your hair care journey, you want to know the direction you want to go. You want to know the products that's good for your hair. You want to have a choice and not be forced to go sit into a salon and have somebody tell you information that may or may not be correct. I myself choose to educate, my, educate myself. So what I'm going to tell you is have a safe journey, understand your hair and the direction you want to go and educate yourself along the way. Again, have a choice and not be forced to go sit down in a salon and that's somebody who may or may not be educated enough to direct you on your journey. Till next time. <laughs>